Can you tell me more about the Beast Riders? Someone else who likes history, huh? All right. Isis was formed pretty much at the dawn of our civilization. It was born out of necessity. It protected us from the dangerous beasts that litter Onderon. This city is as old as our civilization. Most of our technology was invented to fortify these walls and protect us. For ages, our worst criminals were cast out of the city to an almost certain death. It wasn't completely certain, though. Some of the criminals figured out how to survive out there. They learned how to tame the native beasts. And it wasn't long before they turned their attention to Isis. But the Beast Riders aren't your enemies anymore. What happened? About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, Orin Kira. That was right at the start of the Beast Wars. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen, and finally there was peace between our people. Are you still allies? It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. There's an uneasiness between our people. The Beast Riders are upset that General Vaklu has forbidden Drexel and Isis. Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who know better than thugs. The, why, why, why does this planet focus so much on thugs as being a thing? Thugs isn't a thing. So you can't describe anything as... A, I mean, you can, but not in this state, in this case. Why are they no better than thugs? What do you mean, no better than thugs? It's the common thugs. What the hell? It's like... It is this planet in specific that mentions that so much. I can't... I, I, mm. I mean, I understand the sentiment. I just don't understand where what he's actually saying. He's just saying, like, oh, I don't like them. It's just basically what he's saying. And that, you know, I, I can't understand that. It's just... Anyway, um... Can I ask you about something else? Certainly. Things are quiet right now. I have some time. What do you want to talk about? There are a lot of soldiers around. These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some... disagreements. Could you tell me about the troubles? I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. How did you get in trouble? Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times and it's not long before you're a civilian. Who else can I talk to about what's going on on ISIS? The politics of the day is probably the most talked about subject in the city. And everyone wants to share their particular view of what's going on. Opinions are like Gizka around here. They breed like mad. Ah, the town politics isn't about the sewer ordinance and all the things. It's specifically about the dine the the beasts are restless supposedly because the queen and command whatever his name is, commander something, uh, are at odds with each other. That's why the beasts are re restless, at least according to the beast master outside. Uh okay, can we talk about something else? Gladly. This is a topic I'd much rather avoid. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will stay a little bit out of trouble. HK-47 is always ready to help me out stay out of trouble. He's always got his weapon cocked and... That might not be the word... The, what am I saying? Ready. It's just weapon. Just ready. It's weapon is ready. Onderon soldier and... G Jigoran. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? Nah, I live in Isis. Uh, why do you think I was a, uh, an off-worlder? You are? Wait, this is not so. <laughs> you think to make a joke on Gagarin? <laughs> but this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pr pr pretend he isn't here. I... Why can't you only sell to people with starport visas? General Vaklu is concerned about well-armed insurgents. They've had to get arms from somewhere. Not for me, of course, but all sales of weapons have been severely restricted. I can only sell to off-worlders like you that have the proper clearance. And now off-worlders can't come here because of the blockade and searches, but it's a wise policy. So you're happy about this, then? Of course. Soldiers are only doing their job. Even if it puts me out of business, I am happy. <laughs> Even if I'm forced to live off scraps in the street, I am so happy to do my part. <laughs> Long live General Vaclo. What do you sell? Large variety of weapons. My stock is very good. You might want to buy some before the General decides he needs more blasters. 
Then weapon merchants like myself have the honor of providing them to him at a substantial discount, even below what it costs us. Uh, we do it happily, or else. Or else what, Gag? Or else we are very unhappy at not being able to do our part. <laughs> What can you tell me about Isis? Oh, everything is great here. We're all very happy. So, very happy. Yeah, I'd like to see our stock. So, very happy. He's really selling it. A fond crystal. Nah. Well... Nah. We're gonna get plenty of crystals. We don't need to worry about our, our things. Okay. That's very nice. What about you, officer? This soldier just glares at you. That's actually factually wrong. He doesn't just do that. He also talks. Not at me, though. But he talks. Also, he's breathing and you know, all the things. There's a lot of things that he does. He doesn't just do that, is what I mean to say. A lot of cages. Oh, is this the palace? No, that probably is the palace. This place looks really cool. It, It's just like... How did they come up with a design for the area? Not so much from a like from a concept art standpoint, but from an actually implementing it in the engine standpoint. It's very clear that they're saving uh, resources by look at look at all the sp space free space. Diagnostic. For some reason, I cannot fire. Obvious statement. This was not anticipated. I am attempting to access my weapon systems, and I cannot. Alarmed embarrassment. If this gets back to the other units, we will be decommissioned. Well, it is, guys. Always say the same. I still need to go to the factory in Telos, because I think I know where it is. But they always say the same thing. And they always die. Systems are failed. But they give me, I mean, they give me experience and their stuff, I suppose. That tame boa, boma back there. I keep saying boa. It isn't a boa. What is this? Computer slice? Yeah, let's go with that. Access denied. Logout sequence initiated. Wait, what? I'm good. I'm good. Ready to serve. You're good at computers, right? Let's see. Computer use zero or two. Access denied. Are you good with this? Five. Hmm. Oh, I can just change. Oh, I also level ups. Can just change this much better. Access denied. Okay. Well, now that we have you here, might as well level you up. You really smoky, really smoky. I was gonna say little smoky, uh, thing, but uh, robot. But uh, yeah. So a lot of this, awareness. Yeah, that's what we're doing apparently. And that's it. Oh, he has another level. Hmm. We also need to increase the. Increase the um, what's the word? Influence on on him. We got master caution for extra demolitions and stealth. Yeah, that's not a bad thing to have. Let's go with it, because this guy is just basically a skill machine, and that's pretty good. So look at this, skill machine. Another level up. How how many times have I leveled up without him? Apparently, level 23. Mandalore is also level 23. Okay. That's pretty good. You can go back. Actually, you know what? I might need higher level. No. It's just impossible. I do know that the game doesn't actually give you a feedback if you, if you can't log in. Because I think we've seen once where we couldn't log in because of our skill, but the game didn't actually tell us that. It was just like, you can't do it. And it feels like it's impossible, but it isn't. And, uh... The rumor I've heard is that you don't fully agree with our queen and her supporters. If you aren't adverse to Queen Talia stepping down, we could use your help. It would be quite worth your while. I like the tone of your voice. You sound very evil. What's this about? I am a strong supporter of General Vaklu. The Merchant Quarter is an important area. Not only financially, but strategically as well. It is one of the few districts that is directly connected to the royal palace. The queen and her advisors are well aware of this and have ensured that the captains here are extremely loyal to her. This presents complications for Vaklu. If you could arrange for them to be removed from their command, you will be richly compensated. 
how tell me about these captains there's Galisi at the starport Riken commands from the turret tower and Bastuko guards the entrance to the sky ramp all loyal and all need to be reassigned this feels like a lovely time for everything I, I have some other questions about what how much does this pay? For each task you complete, I am prepared to pay you 2,500 credits. Plus, you will earn the favor of some powerful people. We could make your job much easier here. Tell me about Galisi. He is the most junior of the captains. His superior, Captain Sulio, met with an accident. I believe you are familiar with that. Besides his strong loyalty to the Queen, I know next to nothing about him. He sometimes frequents the local cantina when he isn't at his post. What about Rika? Really, real great. What? He's been responsible for the merchant quarter for years. He's been chastised repetitively for his criticism of General Vaklu. His years of service won't protect him if he continues to subvert the chain of command. He has received several warnings. With a nudge, he just may get a dishonorable discharge. Or killed in a back alley. I was that was more my style. Uh, what about Boshtuku? A true veteran, years of honorable service, completely dedicated to the queen. Sadly, I think he's more on our side than the Queen's. But he's an old soldier that can't adapt to today's complex situation. Regardless of what the best interests of Onderon are, he won't swerve from executing the Queen's misguided decrees. Persuasion may be ineffective. Take this military security card. It can be used to slice into security terminals. Perhaps you'll find solutions there. Perhaps I will. I, I I find it interesting that the game makes it so very blatant that you're fighting that this she's dark side, or rather that helping her is a dark side action. Um, she has her lines actually are. Well, her intent is very clearly uh, corrupt. But when she says he, he's failing to adapt to today's more complex situation, that sort of argument is a perfectly reasonable argument. Politics are complicated. The secession from the republic can be a very complicated thing to do. And d different people can believe in the same thing for different reasons and have different attitudes. But no, she's she's talking like this because I, oh, the merchants. And, all, and it's very obvious that we're, yes. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I guess uh, that's it. About what? Uh, how do I remove them from their posts? You can't attack them directly. The entire city would be after you if you assaulted their checkpoints. You may have to be subtle and patient. They don't have to be killed. Just removed from command. Okay, I'll be going now. We should try to get General Vaklu to be on our side. He has a shrewd mind and is far more fit for command. Queen Talia is young and too idealistic. A veteran leader is what this planet needs and would make a better ally. Can you please ever use a word that isn't idealistic to, com to talk about people who are on the light side of things? <laughs> I was just finishing uh, before... Before today, I was finishing Wasteland 3, and uh, I play a very unidealist idealistic character group. Uh, and uh, the main hero, or the main villain, I should say, just keeps being like, Oh, your idealism, your idealism. And I'm like, shut up. And in fact, I, I proved him right, posthumously anyway, uh, by choosing an, a, a very unoptimized ending. And when I say unoptimized, is, I mean, that's, the, you know, I knew it was going to be bad, the ending that I chose. It wasn't totally bad. I didn't. Didn't expect it to be totally bad, but yeah, uh, obviously that's a different Let's Play. But still, idealistic, it's always a thing. Idealistic means, uh, it doesn't mean having ideals. It means having your actions be, for the most part, ba be based on your ideals. Uh, and that's what idealism means. That Now, I'm not saying that Queen Talia isn't idealistic. What I'm saying is, as you probably can understand what, by how I described what idealistic is... Anybody can be idealistic. For example, the character that I'm playing is very idealistic. The ideals are just very bad in dark side. But that's what I'm saying. It's <sighs> just common sense. It's whatever. It's it's fine. But uh, let's just say something. Let's go with this one. It's uh, very obvious that it's the best one for his character. I agree. Vaklu has a lot more to offer us. Vaklu is no fool. Even if we've had disagreements in the past, he'll recognize how advantageous an alliance could be between us. So, influence has been gained with Mandalore. And Easy's military security keycard has been received. And that, it, things are going really well. I think that is for that computer that I was trying to mess with before. 
What are these guys talking about? But General Vaklu would cut himself off from the many planets of Republic. This is foolish. In solitude, no civilization prospers. You don't understand the people of Onderon. You, they are proud and have fought many adversaries to get where they are, mostly by themselves too. They have given much to the Republic and see little in return. General Vaklu believes independence would be in Isis's best interest. But Republic fights, fight battles for free to free Onderon from Mandalorian warriors. Should be thankful. Queen Talia is young but looks after her people. She should be honored. The Mandalorians would never have been on that moon if it weren't for Exar Kun, and he was a fallen Jedi. I think General Vaklu is right. I don't know mo much about General Vaklu. Vaklu lies, he twists words and tries to take heart of people away from their rightful queen. He is Shuta. He is a war hero, leader of the resistance during the Mandalorian Wars, a man of vision with experience. He may not tell all the truth, but he works for the best interest of the people. Many realize this. He would start war to oust the good queen. The suffering he would bring is wrong. What do you think of Queen Talia? Talia works with Republic. She rules peacefully and is popular with her people. Her intentions are good, I admit, but those close to power see the mistakes she makes. Nobles, high-ranking military, they all support General Vaklu. She does not have the experience of governing which Isis needs in these times. She's literally the queen. How does she not have the experience of governing? Also, why are you guys... Why do you guys have queens? Eat them. Now. Just get... Just get just elect, your, elect your governors and things. There would be deep consequences if Onderon succeeds from the Republic, right? The Republican is ailing. Independence may serve many planets better. In time of need, we should lend aid. Wars hurt Republic, but Republic protected us all. For future conflict, government will protect again. Who do you trust more? Human ask good question. I don't trust Vaklu. He lies to people. He has been caught in them before. Talia honorable. The question is unfair. Sometimes leaders know things the rest of us can't know. I may not trust everything he says or his people say, but he is also a man of honor. He never breaks a promise. You see the double thinking? But if you can't trust your leader's words, then how can you trust their motives? Human sentient, what do you think? I also confess, I am curious what you think. I am think you're all dumb as hell. That's what I'm thinking. On the one hand, the guy the guy who talks like this and I'm giving... Uh, what is his name? I don't remember. The one with the hair things that are not made of hair. Uh, he's like super double thinking hard. It's like, oh, he lies a little bit. But not about the bit that I care about. Definitely doesn't lie about that. The other one is just not calling him out on his bullshit. Why? Why are you not seeing the obvious... Uh, either way, uh, naturally I'm going to side with a bad person. They're both dumb, but one of them is bad. I'll lend support to whomever serves my interests better. Actually, that is interesting. It is not to whomever serves my interests better. Oh, this is truly dark side. You're using the whom, whomever in this case, wrongly. It is because it's tricky. Because it's not it, it, whenever you say whenever it's the object of an action, it's always whom or whomever instead of who. Whoever is when it's the subject. What does that mean? Well, basically it means that if you eat an apple, you are the subject, the apple is the object. So, whom do you eat is the question. Who eats is another question. And you can see the, 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 the distinctions there. The problem here is that I will lend support to whomever. But the problem is the sentence gets cut off after the two, not after the whomever. So it's whoever serves my interests better. I will lend my support to them. I think I'm not wrong in saying that. Although English might have rules that are different from what I think is intuitive, but I will say that. I was hoping you would help clarify this discussion. Your answer does little to address the political situation. Let us discuss this further at the cantina. Thank you for the conversation, human. I didn't get dark side from that. I mean, I can't get dark side. I can't get dark side. What am I talking about? I get dark side all the time. Even though we do, I, do, I literally am maxed out. My dark side is maxed out. Hey, are you the... You're the Bustoku. Bustu, Bustuku? But the, it, his name sounds like bullcrap. Because of the name. It's whatever. It's literally... It, whatever. We need... We have people to depose. Wait, I didn't mess with you guys. Hey, Mr. Crowd. 
There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? Wait, who, me? Yes, you! It is up to each and every one of us to turn the tide, to take control of our future. I... I... The, the, uh, surely the Republic does something in return for you. No, they take from us. They are like Minox, sucking energy and resources from so many worlds. They bleed us for their bureaucracy and their excesses. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. It... Mandalore, please stop humping me. The... HK-47, later, please. Um, it's really weird, isn't it? That it's very clear that the Volklu is the dark side option. But at the same time, it isn't. Because a major point, a major, major point of this place is the oppression of people's free will. Or not free will, sorry, free speech. That's the word that I wanted to say. You see it over and over again. People not being able to say what they want to say because they're accused of treason and then, uh, you know, made to do bad things. So I don't know. I mean, the Republic is supposed to be the good guys. And when I say good, I mean the light side side of options, maybe. Um, and that guy was just rambling about uh, against Jedi. So again, it is really obvious that they're the evil side of things. They're the Zerka Corporation of this planet, is what I'm trying to say. But at the same time, the other guy... Why did they make it like this? You can have this story being told in any game. And it's really interesting. In this game, unfortunately, there's this thing over here that ruins everything. <laughs> it literally ruin ruins everything. Because this is a morality thing. I... I don't... Well, let's find out. Let's let's continue. Uh, but this is uh, an interesting setup, is what I'm trying to say. If I speak more right now, the soldiers will arrest me. Perhaps later. Perhaps... What? what? These are dangerous times. People like Ponlar aren't making it any easier. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he's the one at fault here. Not you, that are making it dangerous. <laughs> These are dangerous times. What? Well, we do have a Jedi in here, by the way. Turning... Uh, using the people who want to oust the Jedi to get the Jedi out of this planet... It's probably the best, safest place, or safest thing for them to do, considering the Sith are coming for the Jedi. Now, admittedly, the Sith are also coming for everybody else. And admittedly, I am coming for everybody else and everything in the world. But... Yeah, you're, you're all gonna die. If it is up to me, I'm gonna destroy everything in creation itself. It's gonna be... Everything is dead. Because uh, that's how I do. So, let's uh, let's deal with these... Oh, it's the this captain. I'll deal with you on my way back. Let's first... The tallest, it's not you. Let's see what I can do over about. Is it you? Was it any of you? No. Who was it? Portmaster. Is this something? He was using Republic spies as an excuse to intimidate anybody that would oppose him. Portmaster. You again? You don't need to see me if you want to leave the city. I don't. I'm just trying to find the person who I'm trying to depose. I don't think they are here. All right. Uh, well, I'll, I'll deal with the other ones after. Let's start with uh, this guy over here. See if I can do anything about it just by talking to him. Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have a Starport visa. If I were you, I'd leave before too many more beast cages are stacked in the streets. You were willing to tell me about the troubles in Isis. Actually, I wasn't telling you about it before. Like I said, I was warned by command to keep my opinions to myself. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. I'll be going now. Stay out of trouble. 
I will. I never stay out of trouble. That's I, that's. I'm the trouble. I don't. We're missing the computers, right? Are we supposed to go in here? Hmm. I won't remain silent any longer. The Republic has actively attacked us. They attack our spaceships unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us. Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! If Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her with force. That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, let us rise up now and march to the palace. Our will cannot be denied. Aha, he said with force. Because if he didn't say that, obviously he wouldn't be arrested. And obviously everybody would be like, I don't know what he's talking about. He definitely didn't incite anything. Oh, I can say you will go quietly. No, this is the this is the time for me to... Oh, it's interesting. Force persuade for the light side. Hmm. Everyone join Poin Lair. The Queen's reign must end! Exclamation. My behavioral core glows when my master acts like this. That's right! Death, Death to the Queen! Death, Death to the Queen! We will march! Why are you joining in this? I prefer Vaklu over Talia, but this is hardly a task for a warrior. I wasn't gonna join, I just meant to... I didn't... What do you think I'm gonna join? Are you kidding me? I'm... Uh, I don't really care about all that, I just want to join in the fun. Maybe I should have left you on Duxon. You would fight with them? This is madness! We need reinforcements! The Offworlder joins us! Joins Let's us. fight these Let's rats! Fight these rats. The the rats. Rats. Oh, I didn't lose uh, influence with him. So, the... Wait. The crowd? You're aggressive? Well, I'm, I'm having none of this. Bye. Oh, no, I did lose influence. No, I didn't. I'm gonna reload that in the face. Because, uh... I, I didn't think that the other... Uh, the reason why I didn't choose follow my lead was because the it felt like it felt like he would be upset about that. Just follow my lead. You would fight with them. We are gonna do it. I think. Influence gained with HK47. Did I mistake what was going on before? I don't know. Either way, I prefer to just follow my lead instead of him being like, "Oh, I don't like you anymore." Let them kill each other. Just don't... Are you really? I mean, I get the experience anyway. I know how the system works. Yes, HK-47, my love. Come here. They're gonna be... Look at us. Do you even have a weapon ready? Oh, my God. Yes, no, not yes, master. Get your weapon ready. What the hell is wrong with you? You you can't fool me. Pretending to have a weapon. Oh, hi. I didn't know you were here. I'm very sorry. You guys are terrible at this... I mean, apart from Mandalore. Mandalore is, is kind of fun. Uh, so, murder on everyone. Let's... Uh, it is? Wait, did I aggro everybody? Huh. I... Hmm. Is she still there? Excuse me. Yeah, you are Ando. Okay. So I can still do the quests. This is a bit of a surprise, honestly. A full-blown revolution has taken place here. Well, not a full-blown revolution. An insurrection, I suppose. Uh, it's taken place here in the plaza. And nobody bats an eye. Lid. You bat the eyelid, not the eye. 